Okay, next video, running around electronics and bits in the car. So it's a M57 3 litre diesel. We've raised the alternator up to clear it away from the suspension, but as you can see, it's it's close, but it is actually genuinely clear. Um, we've got electronics here. Not entirely sure what all that does, but um, it's there and it does something. Oh, that's not the cleanest. All right winch at the front apparently that's wired in it's not again the neatest done electronics to the lights are done but look awful electronics to the light and to the um, horn are done but again look awful they welded this horn on I am staggered by the welding that they did it's just the worst that I've ever seen um, and it's loomed uh, right, so the fan here, they disconnected it. I don't know why they disconnected it, because it's on the back of my intercooler, so that I can actually have a fan running, either on a thermal switch or on a, a switch on the dash. None of that's done. Uh, let's see. So that's wired in, so all that works with the engine. So again, this is not the, the, the neatest, but it is fixed and it does work, so it's not terrible. Um, I can't find the um, cover that goes in there. I think that was thrown away by someone. So that master cylinder on the brakes is is not working. Um, I think the the um, uh, the vacuum side of it's fine, but the the actual uh, master cylinder itself needs replacing. And I'm told it's a Discovery One V8. I don't know if you can see in there. Um, but Rally Raid didn't have a clue. They were to be honest, they were not not useful. Um, side lights are fitted but not stuck down and then if I can get round to the dash area in here it's a bit squeezed in so we've got a couple of horn buttons big red buttons this wiring here I mean, you can't really see it I'll have to get you some pictures but it's just hung there and looped there and I don't know why so it doesn't seem to do anything and it's an electric throttle pedal which just needs bolting in place uh, but that does actually work so yeah um, heated screen um, broke that twice putting them in so that's got expensive so it needs a little bit of paint paint work around it and a bit, bit of tidying up um, wipers apparently they work haven't tried them yet uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Doo -doo -doo. yeah so just in there you can see the steering rod is close to where the spring would be but if we go down to a two inch rather than two and a half inch or if that or is that a three inch uh, then then that'll give us some more clearance there um, not necessary Tomcat is convinced that it's fine uh, so this goes from the intercooler through the intercooler and in into the um, well it's not a throttle body on the diesel isn't it but the inlet manifold there um, through that mass sensor the other side I've got silicon down to silicon reducers and then that goes off to the uh, snorkel so that goes down under and along the car and then up the back which I'll show you now and there's the rest of the the looms that are all just kind of you know kind of stuck in there so seats may come out because I may put them into my discovery but uh, so there's the snorkel coming up the, the bright red one that's the snorkel coming up and there's a filter up under the corner there so reasonably well protected the orange hose is an air inlet from the heater so we've got heater here drawing air in, in through a centrifugal fan and then it splits but the centrifugal fan is kind of a bit a bit of a asthmatic ant as Clarkson would say so yeah um, battery seems to have finally stabilized at 12.2 volts uh, it's taken a long long time because it keeps kept dropping off and um, uh, the the what's it here uh, I think it was the the durite was uh, was causing us problems on that so yeah, so thoughts and and, and, a, and a plan.